Hey, we're live. Holy smokes, we've just wasted about 15 minutes talking to ourselves and we weren't even live. Apologies for that. Let us know if you can hear us because we, we had a bit of a confusing start. But this is a no, 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 I've got to do it all again. Yeah, do, do it all again, do it all again. No, 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 no. King of the Hell semi final. King of the Hell semi final. Put the script back to the start. King of the Hell semi final. Put the script back to the start. Right. So apparently. Anyway, look, we've got Graham Avian, Paul Heaton, King of the Hill semi final, losers bracket semi final. We've done all this. I know we've done all this. We've done all this. We'll have to do it again. Graham, probably uh, the bookie's favourite. Graham double A. Only just. Graham A. Avian, the bookie's favourite. He's he's, (laughs) he's a reasonable favourite, not a strong favourite. But um, as I said already, I think he's got an extra gear. He's not shown it in his first frame yet, although you guys haven't seen any of it, but. He's not shown it in his first frame, whereas Paul is super consistent, very hard to beat. I think this could be a tight, niggly one. And I do think this... Oh, I can't wait come back out. Can't do that. It, it depend, I think it depends on Graham. If Graham plays at his absolute best, Graham will win this match, but he has to play at yeah. his best. And yeah. if he doesn't, if he doesn't, I think Paul could snatch it. So I'm, yeah. I'm struggling to pick a winner. Hello, Nick. And hello, Matt. Nick Smith. Matthew. Blaze, Blaze is in. Happy Blaze Monday, all. gang. Blaze is always in. Look at him go. Good Blaze, all. Good man. <clears throat> yeah, we've had some interesting, uh, interesting stuff with the stream. We're trying to get started. I'm not sure if it was live because we tried to schedule we're all right, it. We're all right now. Tried to schedule it, and I don't know. Yeah, I was messing around with it. Anyway, we're in, aren't we? We're in. We're in. Oh, we're it's in. Been, like it's been sin. confirmed. It's been confirmed. This is the first semi-final in the King of the Hill losers bracket. The loser of this gets fifty pound. You've already said. That. Oh yeah, of course yeah, it wasn't live. Yeah, loser gets that, fifty yeah. pound. The winner gets yeah. a chance. Wait, let me see what I was going to say. Oh, I wish this was a game I could lose in. Yeah, you already yeah. said that. Yeah, I said that already. Yeah. Um, so loser of this gets fifty pounds for just getting this far in the losers bracket yeah. of this semi-final. <laughs> And the winner of this oh, goes to the final and play the winner of the other semi-final, which is myself yeah. and Jacob Bayless. Ooh, big in-house battle that. Yeah, and I <laughs> we hope are the robots. I hope I beat. I hope I beat that. <laughs> what What's a non-offensive term you can use? I get told off for swearing the other day. Oh, what's a non-offensive term? Yeah, I hope I beat that person. Bleep. That person. But I probably won't. Oh no, it's it's dolphin noise, isn't it? Oh when yeah. You, uh, go and do I hope that. I beat that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Interesting dolphin noise. I mean, yeah. that, maybe that is how they speak. Blazo's busy. What are you doing, Blaze? Oh. What, what are you busy doing? I'm going to try and hang out for the match, but a busy day. He's in IT, I believe. Big IT man. It? He's in, in it. Yeah, he's in. He's big into it. This, the clown and Pennywise. He's big the into clown it. clown and it, Pennywise. Yeah. He's inside Pennywise. Yeah, he's really into oh. it. <laughs> Graham's trying to cut in here into the devil's bag. Oh, that's a delightful oh. pot to get us warmed up early in the day. Look at that. Let's try that again. Early in the day from double A. This shot, that is an absolute belter. Double A, Graham Aviant. Graham A Aviant. I'd, I'd be happy with that. Do cut. we know what the A stands for in his name? Amazing. Could be, could be. And that was an amazing <laughs> shot. But he's, you know, he's, he's still got a tricky one here. Back double in the top right, maybe even a triple. Nice glove he's got on as well. Yeah. No, but it's camouflage. I can't even see. He's got it. He's got it. Oh! oh! My God. He could be Chinese snookered here. Could be Chinese snookered. He might wow. not be able to see this black. Wow. Let's take a look at the look. I mean, he did a great pot, an incredible cut into the devil's bag. Then he does this double. Oh. He finds Ooh. himself. I mean, lucky not to go in off. Graham, amazing. Graham, amazing. Avian's got to be. If he pots this. It might, it might well, have to be. It would be one of the greatest clearances of all time. <laughs> Notice with his glove, his um, his fourth digit, and his he's hit the black. His, his fourth digit and his his little finger, or as we call it in the UK, his little finger, uh, <laughs> is bare. It's bare. Yeah, I feel a bit. I don't know. I feel Isn't a bit. Isn't that uneasy. how those gloves are? No, I, I thought I thought they covered all the fingers. Maybe, maybe some. No, of the, no, they don't. They some of the pull experts could safety, tell me. Bit, a bit of safety. That's what Paul's in. good at. Paul's got a great pull brain. I don't know. It's just it's like I don't want to sexualize things again. But you know, you can't help yourself, can you? You know, like when sometimes women wear stockings and yeah. it goes up to their top of their thigh, and then yeah, you see yeah, that little yeah, bit, yeah. that little bit of skin, and that that's yeah, arousing. Yeah. There's that little bit of skin's arousing. You think that's what he's doing? Just I, showing well, you a bit of thigh, like it is. It is a little, like a little bit of thigh. <laughs> it is quite quite arousing in a way, but I feel uneasy. Matt got it it's for the ladies. Yeah, man. I feel I feel a little bit uneasy looking at it. 
I don't know how I feel seeing that there. <laughs> well, I tell you what, Paul's feeling finger. all right because he's got two shots here. Oh, I thought he should. I think he should play the plant here. I'm not sure about this. Oh, he's got. He's, he's all right. Yeah, he's still going to see that into the right center, but it's it is tricky to get on this black. Ideally, he'd like to leave it into the right center. Roll all the way through. Yeah, he's got to get up. He's going to go near that top left cushion. Oh, oh I, I thought tell you about what. it. I tell you, Paul would love to get this first frame. He's got a big chance. He's, 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 he's a good. He's a good front runner, Paul. Oh, this, is a, this is a delicate one. Delicate. Delicate. Oh, it's but good. No though. problem from Nerve the settler. experienced heat. Nerve settler there from Paul Mead. The heat is on. Easy to miss this sort of shot and this sort of sort of pressure. First first frame. Blaze. He knows he's up against a good player. Just two fingers in the Blaze, no. It's Just the, the whole hand. <laughs> Just the two fingers and the thumb. I'm sure it's the whole hand. No, maybe if, if you're Michael Jackson, maybe he, mm. if he was playing pool, he probably wore the whole the whole glove. Well, why? Why am I only noticing on on Graham A. Event? I don't know because Jake, you know that 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 um <clears throat> short we had go off had like seven hundred thousand views or whatever. Aye, Jake's wearing the that glove as well, the same glove. Mm. It's the same style glove. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's still thinking about that chicken you ate earlier. It's stuck in my teeth. It's pissing me off a bit. I'm trying to I'm trying to hook the chicken out of my tongue. So wait, oh wait, we could ask Blaze because he's from America, right? Blaze, do you pay for uh, dental care over there? Because Paul's upset. Fucking because, oh, pardon my. Life. You, you can't say that, mate. S flipping right. six hundred quid for four fillings. Six hundred quid for four fillings. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Room up, up the top, room ten. Yeah, crack on, crack on. Enjoy. Right. Yeah, I had to see the dentist today because I've got a few problems with my teeth. I haven't seen a dentist in about five years. You guys, you don't want to see it. It's awful. What, my teeth? No, His they're not that bad. Hang awful. on, they're not that bad. The, the dentist <laughs> stop, told, stop showing me them. <laughs> the, the dentist told me today they're not the worst teeth I've ever seen. They always say that to everyone. Yeah, well, well, it's, well not to the person whose worst teeth they've ever seen. That's you. They're lying. No, he said to me, they're not the worst teeth I've ever seen. He's seen, um, he's seen mummy's teeth. But I need four fillings. <laughs> Four filling, six hundred quid for six, four fillings. Six hundred and fifty quid a filling. Blaze, how much do you pay for uh, for a filling? Yeah, but over they, in the, the, US, Amer mate? the Americans have to pay for everything. The Americans, like, if they if they cut their finger, you need to pay, you like know, a new head. Yeah, you need to get a new head, a new new house, new house. Keep saying things. New, <laughs> so I can just uh, copy you. New car, new car, new wife, new heat. <laughs> anyway, Paul, Paul. Anyway, Paul is in here again. Paul's got the best action cam face. He does, yeah. He's, he's 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 brilliant. I like his I like his picture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at him. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, it looks alright. Tell you what, these yellows don't look too shabby. Not too shabby. I do like um I do have a, a I keep sexualizing everything. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> I do have a sexual preference for a woman. Um yeah. but if if I did have a sexual yeah. preference for men, I think Paul's the sort of guy I would go for. <laughs> oh, he's just steady. He just, oh, he's steady, he said. Well, just as I say that, I think he must have he heard me. His curse. But you just know you know he'd be a good boyfriend. Wouldn't you? Yeah. You'd, yeah, yeah. You'd be yeah right. I agree with you, yeah, 100%. Whereas Graham, I don't know. <laughs> I don't bit know. Of a bit of a bad boy. Yeah, Graham, I reckon Graham would break my heart. <laughs> But it'd be a good, it'd be good fun, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it'd, be, it'd good, be good fun. Be good for about six months, <laughs> and then I'd be broken forever. <laughs> Graham's not wearing a glove. I don't know what you're on about. <gasps> He's not wearing a glove. What, is that just fungus on his left hand? No, it's ca it's camouflage, isn't it? So you can't actually see it. I mean, it does Get seem it? a very tight glove. What do, you, what do you think that means? I don't know what it means. <laughs> I'm not, I don't want to go there. Right, 1 0. Paul Eaton. 1 0. Good race start. To, race to 10. But Graham with a good chance here to level this up. God, I'm hungry. God, I could do with like a piece of chicken. One piece of chicken would be good right now. I did enjoy that chicken you gave me. So gave? Yeah, I you, you I didn't <laughs> I nick turned it. my back for a second and it was gone. <laughs> I didn't nick it. You gave it to me. No, I know. I'm only joking. It was your payment for the stream. This should be bread and butter or bread and chicken for Graham Avery here. Bread and here. chicken. Yeah, nicely done. All right, looking good to level things up here. Yeah. Graham won't miss this. Bang. Beautiful. 1-1. One, one. 
1 1. Game on. First to 10. So Graham's break. He was able to put a bit of pressure on uh, on Paul because he's certainly capable of the old dish, but he's gone straight in off. Paul. In off. Wim Hof. In off. Who's Wim Hof? Uh, he's a guy who likes being cold, isn't he? Huh? He's a guy who likes to be cold. Is he some sort of nutter? Um, some people think he is. Yeah, other people think he's like Jesus or something. Which one's correct? Neither of them. Why does he like being cold? He thinks it's good for you. Well, speak, I don't know much speaking, about of, it. speaking of which, we've got the Wim Hof ice bath. The Wim Hof, his old ice bath. Here at the MRC. <laughs> Signed. If you want to try it. Yeah. I thought Paul went in off. Did Graham go no, in off? No, Graham went in off. Ah. It's Graham's break. Paul with a chance to pile the pressure on. Come on, Paul. Campbell. And Graham. Come on, Paul. It? Come on, sport. Come on, sport. Come on, humans. Let's pull a sport. <laughs> I think so. In the Olympics. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bad Flip start. Flip sake, Paul. That was Putang. <laughs> that's not a swear word, but it doesn't sound okay, does it? What? <laughs> I thought I was trying to be gentle. Well, missed his first free shot, so he's been forced to go weds. It was all part of his plan to maybe, miss that first shot because he was trying to take yellows. He seems pretty comfortable on the reds. Sometimes, I've noticed that sometimes I think I pot a certain colour better. Some days I pot the reds better. Yeah. And I always try and be reds even if they're not the best setup. You just feel feel good for yeah, them. Yeah, I feel good. And then other days I feel, feel good with the yellows. And the yellows are a little bit yeah. ugly here. It's, it's an awkward spot for, for uh, Paul to leave Graham in here, to be fair. <coughs> oh, that's a foul. Oh, he's missed the ball. Even, even if he's going to hit the yellow there, I, I think I have no idea actually what he was trying there. Because I think he was just trying to nestle in here. Oh, and nestle he, in behind, behind that yellow there. He, but He wasn't told, so he would have had to knock the ball onto a cushion after contact. Mm. So, very strange shot by double A, Graham Avian there. Double A, double A battery. To, what does Paul do with his two shots? Normally, selects the right mm. choice. Yeah, it's got to be something about this top red. I think first. I mean, I, I would lift the white and I would put it quite close to that yellow. I think you can, I think you can pot that red. Wouldn't do it from here though. What on earth? Interesting. Is going on? Look at that. That's quite clever. Does he know he's two shots? That's. Oh, it's not two shots. Huh? <gasps> Wait, let's have another look at this. What's he going must, on? He must have hit this yellow. No. He must have. He must have. He must have hit it. I didn't what? see it, but the players seem happy with it. What? The players seem happy with it. He, what? I don't know. They must have hit. They're closer than us. Hmm. And if they had any queries, they know they can come in and ask us. Well. So they must both be happy. As long as they're both happy, I'm happy, you know? Well, as long as you're happy, I'm happy. He but... must have grazed the microfiber, a bit of hair hanging off the ball or didn't, something. It didn't look like it touched it to me, but we we don't have as close up of a, a view as the gentlemen on the table. Safety battle brewing here already early on in this match. <clears throat> well, Matt agrees. And I agree with Matt. He says it wasn't, that wasn't, even, it wasn't close. even close. <laughs> Wasn't even close. <laughs> well, Paul, well, we'll never know. We'll, we'll never know. Paul, Paul has agreed to it. Yeah, and he's at the table, so no, no major damage done. Little thin one into the right center, and I think it is thin enough where he can get in behind this yellow and get that white down the table, 
If he can do that, I'm in a decent position for this frame. The black's still tied up. I'm not sure the black goes into any of the middle pockets. Focus on this pot first, try and avoid the yellow. He's done it well. He's Lovely done it pot. well. Lovely pot. It's a he's little got, thin. He's got a bit of an angle maybe to get up between these two yellows up towards the middle pocket. Dan Richards says, big, Dan man. big, big foul. <laughs> Dan the man. That's a big foul, he says. How good was Dan the man last Thursday? Oh, yeah, exceptional. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Like, we're going to have to drug test him, I think. Yeah, well, I did drug test him. <laughs> and what did it come back as? It came back as Dan the man. It came back as, it came back as dangerous. Hard man. Hard man. Hard man. <laughs> drug test result, hard man. <laughs> Very impressive performance last Thursday by Dan Richards. A great victory I enjoyed over the Bush Pig, where the Bush mm, Pig didn't even get didn't get well, he, didn't had, even, he had one he, shot he had break, in the whole match, it. which was his break. He went <laughs> in off, but Dan dished him and then reverse dished him and then dished him again. Often see Justin dominated like that. No, never. Nice to see sometimes. Yeah, I, I, sometimes. Enjoy, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Graham. Wow, not quite, but I mean, is he seen? Can you see this red in the bottom right down the cushion? I don't think, I think you can Graham see. Graham was just having a little look. I don't know. Yeah, it's close. You might be able to nick it. I'm not sure a pot is on. We are already in what I kind of was probably expecting, and I think it will favour Paul. I think if it's an open game and Graham gets his pot and boots on, I'd fancy him for this match, but these kind of ugly tactical battles. Mm. You know, can go to either player, but I think Paul's got more of a chance with this kind of pole game. Victory subscriber! Jaked! Oh, jaked. The jaked. The jaked. Jaked. Who's that? Not sure. He's my new best friend. The jaked. <laughs> or Jake D. Jake D. Could be Jake D. Or could be Jackhead. Could be Jackhead, yeah. Or, or it could be it could be just Jake with a typo. Yeah, or it could, could be, be J Act. Could be J Act. <laughs> could be Yaked. Yeah. Could be a lot of things. That's oh, not a bad effort. Not, not a bad, bad effort. effort. The heat, but right. He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to bang it. <laughs> he's going for the double. Going for the double. Cut double. Cut double. Well, you know, sort of cut there, isn't it? That's close to class that as a cut, wouldn't it? I think I think what you've just pointed to what he's actually thinking about, which is black onto that yellow on the right hand side, down into the bottom right. Oh, he's hitting it straight. He's gone for the What's foul. he done? That's he's he's foul. fouled. He is Jake is in the chat. Hello, Jake. How are we doing, son? Just looking at Jake's picture, it seems to be some sort of lion. Primate. It's, a li is it's it not a, a price, a monkey. It's hard to tell. It's a small little picture. Well, we got a small little bubble here. I'm pretty sure that... When, when I first looked at it, I thought it was a lion, but now I think it's one of those monkeys. That, I can't remember the name. Ka oh, Kapushkin ca or something? No. Ka ka Kapushkin ka uh, monkey? Uh, a, yeah, one of the howler monkey things. I'm going to Malaysia in a few weeks. Do and they have Kapushka's monkeys well, there, mate? You know, have you seen those if videos? If that's even a thing. Have you seen those videos where the monkeys like steal your phone and you, yeah, have, you yeah. have to barter with them to get yeah, the phone yeah, back? Yeah. Um, I, I'm going to see those monkeys so I can get my phone stolen and then, and then yeah. give the... Yeah, it's a lion. See, it's a lion. Oh, it is a lion. Yeah, I told you. Hey, guys, great stream. Well, thank you very much, Jake. Who are, do we know you, Jake? Or are you just you just one of our many millions of fans? Kapushkin. Kapush, Kapushin. See? It is a Kapushkin monkey. It looks like a lion. That's a lion. That's a lion. You're a lion. Ah! Right. <laughs> Graham's back in control of this frame. Yeah, absolutely. But it's a li that's a lion, mate. I don't care what you say. It's got to be. Jake, help us out. What is your profile picture all about? What is it? It's one of those monkeys. It's not a Kapushin. That steals your phone. I, to be fair, that 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 sort I've been around those those sorts of monkeys. Is he double on this? Is he double on this? I think he's trying to. He's not gonna get. He's gonna get it. New to the stream? Well, welcome aboard. Merry Christmas. Hope you're having a good evening or morning, wherever is you from. Where are you from? Let us know. This is our King and Hill King and Hill Losers tournament. <laughs> Uh, losers yeah, but the, it's, it's, it's a, the losers of the first round in our big King of the Hill tournament. Yeah. Oh, he's missed that one. Well, he's his, left it for the poll. There's big money in this. Uh, <laughs> he's got no clue what his profile picture is. Well, it, 
I'm going with the monkey. I think you're wrong. Paul Place sh- your bets. Paul should. The white's a little bit close to the black. Yeah, it's not a gimme. Definitely sh- not a gimme. Should be able to dink this into the top left. Take a 2-1 lead here in this first to 10. Oh, and he Ooh, does. He does. Well good done, finish. Paul. He's two been good. One. He's had uh, two two big opportunities like that, and he's taken them both. He's done. He's been very, uh, very. What's the f- what's the word? F- f- like you know, f- not fast, stead, but something like that. Slow. No, stead? not sl- no, no, not sl- No, like reliable in those situations. He's a reliable man, Paul. You can tell. <laughs> well, he's boyfriend you, material. You can tell, according to you. Well, yeah, I would. I would be. Um, I'd be all over, Paul. Uh, what area does this comp cover? Uh, so this uh, this venue is in in Wales, in mid Wales, in a town called Clandrindod Wells. We've got players from all over Wales coming to take place from north, from south, from local in the town. Like Paul here is a, a local local enough man. I think he's localish. Um, but Graham, he's South Wales, a couple hours away. I think is yeah, that right? Graham, Graham's down south. Yeah. So in, in our in our this is the losers uh, semi final the winner semi final we've got Curtis Lee who's Welsh number one yeah uh, we had Cole Bedford in that tournament a few yeah, other Nathan Davis Drew Hughes, Drew Hughes was in that. Uh, so that's in the semi final stage as well yeah so it's been a long tournament over a few months we have a Thursday night flyer here if you're ever down in mid wheels and you play jicked get yourself down yeah Thursday night flyer event uh, try up against some some top 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 competition yeah, at times we, minimum of 16 we have in those tournaments and it's always a good fun night down here at the MRC in mid wheels Dan Richards is in the chat he won last Thursday with some impressive he broke our record he I think. did he had 8 dishes in he, the tournament he had dishes throughout the tournament which was a impressive, impressive. very impressive but he, he lost to me 2-0 the week before did he? Well, it was first to three, and he he came back and beat me three two. But <laughs> I thought it was first to two, so I stopped playing. You just didn't pick the cure. Yeah, I just stopped. You walked off. Yeah, I walked off and home. <laughs> and that's the only reason I lost. Yeah. So, Jake, where where are you from, mate? Whereabouts? Uh, where are you watching from? And also, how did you uh, how did you come across come across this uh, this stream? How did you hear about us? Is it just the power of the internet? It's gone a bit ugly there for Graham Double A Event. Might be able to cut the closest of those two reds. Very good players indeed. Yes, some top top opposition. Not an easy tournament to win. The winner wins. Was it five hundred squids? Five hundred. Five hundred winners for the winner of this tournament. Loser of the um, loser of this losers bracket semi final gets fifty quid. That's not bad. Still not bad. Still not bad at all. That's a night out. Yeah, it's a Chinese, you know, takeaway Chinese. for you more, and your missus. More than a, oh, for me and the missus, yeah. Yeah. Although, me and the missus had a, an Indian takeaway last night. It was £35, which isn't bad. Not bad at all. Is that a file? I never see a replay there. Can we please? see a real replay of that? Yeah. Let's have a look. No, he hit straight. No, he hit it straight and back. It's not oh, I thought he hit the cushion first with the one. Oh, wait, he did. Yeah, that's, that's a foul. That's two shots. That's a foul. That's another foul. We'll see if it's... Because we, we questioned this last time. I think that's a file. Well, well I, well, I know it is. It, is a file. it is a foul. I think the players are chatting about it at the minute. All, all gonna know it's two shots. There's Dominic Crowhurst. Dominic, what the Dominic Crowhurst? The Dominic. The Dominic Crowhurst. Crowhurst. Scrap my last frame. Thought there were some questionable calls. Yeah, they're they're, <laughs> yeah. they're settling a bit. They're, yeah. s- they're just settling down here. Yeah. Uh, Graham can definitely play a lot better than this. Paul's a, a steady player. And a nice man, but when he's on the pool table, he likes to. Oh, that's a bit better. He likes to a, a bit shot. of dirt. You know, he yeah. he's not afraid to tie you up. So, Jake, I always watch pool, and this stream popped up. Looks very professional, Paul. We've done it. We look professional. Not profe- we've done it. Not professional. Professional with a double Profesh- F. Prof- that's, that's professional. Even, that's even better than professional. That's more professional than professional. Yeah, we put a Excellent. lot of work into this, 24 yeah. hours a day yeah. on the stream, doing all the technical stuff, yeah. slaving away. <laughs> Oh, and he bounces. I thought we were going to see the devil there for a second, Paul. Technically, it's professional, but... Technically professional. Yeah. Commentator-wise, we, we're probably a little bit more we get laid paid, back. We get paid in, in, like, pieces of chicken, so it's not yeah. really the most professional. Nice but, chicken. Uh, probably, it, probably a bit more laid back than other pool streams, yeah, but... Which is why it's more fun. But we like we like seeing... We, we do get some quality players, but we get some other... Some other players who aren't so good, but we still like shot. to commentate on them. Absolutely, that makes us part of the fun. They haven't, they haven't got a ref out there, Jig, but we ref, and they have come and used us for instant replays and things like that to check if a ball <laughs> is hit a cushion and things like that. So, 
generally they, they rough each other and the gamesmanship is, is yeah, generally yeah. good. It's all good fun. All good fun down here. Never been called the Dominic Crowhurst before. Well, maybe people should start, you know, I'll start a trend. You are the Do- I don't know any other Dominic Crowhurst. Do you know any other Dominic Crowhurst? Well, my mum. Your mum is Dominic called Dominic Crowhurst. That's what she told me. Your mum told you that her name was Dominic Crowhurst. She did. Is this your mum? This is my mum, yeah. She's is, she's a compulsive liar. Is this these the Paul's mum? Yeah, the Paul's mum. The po- Paul's oh, about Paul. oh, he's been he's been so good in those situations well, so he, far this, he put this a, match. He put a two nice he put a two nice um <laughs> yellows there and then missed a pretty simple black. <laughs> Let's be fair, boys. You just talk But I love it. That was a dolphin noise, by the way. I I, I, talk, I speak I'm I speak, dolphin. I speak lots of sense. <laughs> <laughs> There's Blaze giving the Dan Richards some credit. Yeah, yeah. Blaze enjoyed that great performance from Dan last Thursday. I do fear from Paul here had a big chance to be 3 1 up, and that would have really set the cat amongst Crowhursts there. But <laughs> I see you searching for something to say. <laughs> I could see it. <laughs> but Graham with a real good chance here for a steal. Yeah. And it looks pretty. Bang on for him to do that. Couldn't get any closer to the red than this. Just needs to pop this one. The white will roll off the top cushion, bounce down. Yeah. Simple as you like for someone like of maybe Graham's Graham talent. Might just be settling in a little bit after this frame. It's a good little steal for him. Yeah, it'll make him feel good. But right, good. Come on, get these little mistakes out of the way, and let's get down to business here. Yeah, Graham. Graham's definitely not been into. But that's why I said at the start of the game, if, if Graham's not on top gear, this is going to be a very close match, and Paul can nick it. If Graham does get up to top gear, I think he's got that little bit extra. Um, but 2-2, two, two, first to 10. Yeah. So plenty. Long way to go, yeah. Plenty of time to go. And it's been even stuff, and Paul really should be 3 1 up. So the Dominic Crowhurst, where are you uh, where are you from, mate? So I feel like I recognize him. A big one here. Hold on. Now, yeah. I feel like uh, I feel like I recognise that he's definitely been in the chat before. What come up on here? Yet? Why didn't it come up on there? There it is. Right. Wrong gender, Paul. Wrong gender to be a mum. But I guess with okay. genderism coming under question. Anything, yeah, anything counts, I suppose. Anything, goes, anything these goes these days. You can be whatever you want. I could turn up tomorrow and say, I am a pool, a, table. I'm a pool table, play pool on me. And I, if you don't, I'll be offended. Oh, <laughs> definitely not doing that. <laughs> I'm not putting my... No, I've my, got on uh, my heart weight. I've got to stop, I've got to um, stop, I've got to stop. I'm not putting my balls anywhere near you. Oh, you, I or, stop, but you Or my on. cue, my cue and my yeah, stick. Yeah, keep your cue and your balls I'm not bending me. over you, no My way. holes aren't big enough anyway. Oh, right? so you took stop. it too far. No, you started it. You, no, you started, you start, it. You start, no, you started you start, it by identifying no, as a pool table. You started it. No, well, you identified fair, as a pool table. To be fair, the Dominic Crowhurst started it, really. Yeah. It was it was the Dominic's fault. You've got six holes. Very St. Edmunds, England. Yes, I remember. I think you've told me that before. I remember I remember that from somewhere. I don't know. Definitely remember it. Or maybe I don't. And this is the first time you've been in the stream and I'm talking nonsense. But Paul didn't want a little kiss on the red. He maybe has a plant here, a tough plant into the right centre. He's having a look at that. A devil's pocket. Yuck. That makes me feel uneasy. <laughs> He's got the plant. Lovely plant. He's got the plant. No, I don't know if this red goes direct. It might Stop. nick in. Right, Matt. Steady on. <laughs> About seven hours east of you. Yeah, that's that's a ways away. That's all right. Get yourself down here on a Thursday. Thursday this night This is the tight one here. Into the devil's pocket. We're going to see the devil for the first time today. No, that's a lovely pot. This is a nice clearance so far by Paul. He's run into yeah. trouble a couple of times, but got himself out of it. Oh, Jake, if uh, if you're still there, if, if, you don't, if you're not sure, we keep talking about the devil's pocket, but this pocket, the bottom left pocket, as you're looking at it now. is the hardest pocket in pull. Yeah, it's it's been dubbed the devil's pocket. The devil lives in there and he stops balls going in. You might meet him in this match. He pops out now he and always, again. He always comes out. He always comes out. Keep an eye on that pocket. Those yellows are a mess. Yeah, I mean... I wouldn't want to be yellows there. 
Those yellows remind me of my life since I hit 40. What, clustered and... and like A mess. Off, off colour. A complete mess. <laughs> what is Paul... Is he going to be able to... Because he's got an option here to pop this, flick off the black, which will send the white up the table and pop the black out. That would be an incredible shot. That's on. It's he on. Want, he wants to get high of that red. If he can get a little yeah. bit high, he can pop it into the right centre. Still tricky. Mr. Sleepies is in. He's not... Oh, he didn't need to touch the black. He's gone a little bit too far. He could come round below it. It goes in the top left. I beat Graham last night in a game inside Barry. <laughs> Barry who? <laughs> oh. Barry White. Oh, Barry. Yeah. I, I've been to Barry, Barry Island, so must be a good player to beat Graham. What was the score on that? Graham would have been warming up for this match. Yeah. Mr. Sleepy, get yourself up here. It's a huge pop. Wow, he hasn't quite got it. Oh, for the Zach, Zach attack. Zach Palmer. Chucking the Zacks in the chat. The tacos. How you doing, Palmer? Good to see you, mate. Only problem with that shot, Paul, is just opened every single one of these yeah. ugly yellows up. Yeah, he has. That also reminds me of my life whenever something good happened that just gave me all these opportunities. It hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Maybe this pool stream <laughs> opens is you that. Up, opens you up to hope, yeah. which is the dangerous, most dangerous thing. Yeah, it kind of is, and it kind of is. It just it just is. It is, but let's let's stay optimistic. That's that's just as bad as hope. Yeah, but optimism and hope are the same thing. But if you've no hope, then what what have you got? Uh, anger. I, I don't want to be angry. <laughs> I don't want to be an angry man. I watched the film last night. I might have told you earlier. The angriest man in Brooklyn. Oh, I think yeah. I think you'd be good at that. I'd be good at being the angriest man in Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. Like you'd suit the the, the role well. It was played by Robin Williams, but I think you'd do it well just because you look angry. You look like you could play angry very well. Robin Williams, he's dead now, isn't he? He is, yeah. I think that was one of his last films, actually. Mm. He died. He, I thought Robin really thought. Williams or Robbie? Robin. Robin, Robin, like Mrs. Doubtfire. Not the guy who used to be in Take That. <laughs> no, no, he wasn't, no. <laughs> Graham, All eyes on that devil's pocket. Well, he's, he did this in the last frame, Graham, and he's doing it again. He's, he's going to steal this one. Paul had yeah. an opportunity. And those, those yellows were ugly. But they were all split up by Paul, and he's made no mess of this. Wow. And it's 3-2. First time Graham Double A has taken the lead in this semi-final. Potsy pulls it. Look at him there. What did he say? He's like, he almost like brought the head over to him. <laughs> I've never seen Paul be that great. Yeah. Just sort of threw the head at him a little so bit get there. Get prepared. You're going to feel the heat coming yeah. up now. Heat's coming. The heat is coming the from heat. Paul Heaton. <laughs> Apparently that's uh, what happened to his hair. Well, he's just, he can't grow hair anymore because he just burns away. Yeah, you know, like, um, what's the guy, the, the superhero? He's, he's got a flaming skull. Uh, he well, Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, yeah, apparently. Played that, by Nicholas Cage. That was, well, in the film, yeah. Um, so, apparently that's what happened to Paul. Paul was the new Ghost Rider, hence the, <laughs> the name change to the Heaton. Yeah. And his the name heat, used to be something completely different. Yeah, his name used to be... Paul, uh, Paul Crow, Coldsworth. Yeah, Crowbar. <laughs> Paul Crowbar. <laughs> what? But yeah, that skull. If you because you can see you can see it. You see the light shine on it. That skull. Yeah. If you touch, we don't it, actually have is, any lights on in that room. It's yeah, all exactly. coming from his head. <laughs> that will burn if you, if you put your hand anywhere near his head. He has to wear. He usually wears a cap, and it's like a special designed cap that yeah, keeps the heat in. Of, Otherwise, he'll like set made out of Kevlar. He'll set like bushes and trees on fire. All sorts of stuff. Start so catching I'm, fire around him. I'm worried. I'm worried about Grim here. Oh, it's not the best break, but it's landed pretty ugly. If if you're gonna have a dry break, can you see this yellow in the bottom right? If you can. At least there's an option, but... Even if he takes that yellow, they're really tough to get around the table. He has got a red into the top right bag as well. Difficult, fancy difficult as well. Yeah. Are you thirsty? I thirsty? Yeah. A um, little bit, not too bad. A little bit. I don't think we've got any Dr. Peppers. Man. Oh, I think no. We're out, we're out of Dr. Pepper. It's Why did you even trap. say... You see, you did the I whole thought, thing. No, I know. I thought... I thought oh, shot, a Grim. Shot. I thought we had some. Why did you even... I thought we had oh, some. And I then, didn't even think about Dr. Pepper until you said... I thought we had some, so I, I was like, yeah, let's get... And then I realised after I said it... I wasn't, so even, I I wasn't own, even thirsty. I got my own hopes up. I wasn't even thirsty. Now I'm thirsty and I want a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> it's the only option now. Only option. Or life is crap. <laughs> Seven likes in the chat. It'd be nice to get that up to ten, at least. At least, yeah, for now. Yeah. A little light like, in there. Get a like in there. Like the stream. Get get hanging like about. There. Get Dr. Pepper down you. Relax. Yeah, bring one down for us as well. Enjoy this nice pool match. Gonna take some serious work to to break break these up and find a route through, I think. It's clustered heavily together. Dr. Pepper emoji. I think we might get in trouble 
for a Dr. Pepper well, I, I, does, I don't see anybody else drinking Dr. Peppers these days, apart from us. So I reckon if we got in touch with Dr. Pepper, well, they're, sponsor they're, us they're probably all owned by Coke. Coke, Coke owns everything, don't they? Yeah. If we get in touch with Dr. Pepper... Coke actually own this stream. Do they? Yeah, yeah. Sky they brought us out for £15. Well, the least they could do is give us a Dr. Pepper. I reckon if, if we got in touch with Dr. Pepper and say, look, we mention you often on the stream. Yeah. You enjoy your beverage regularly. Positively. I need to fart. Don't need... Oh. Oh, sorry. Um, but we um mentioned them quite a bit. I reckon they would give us a few free cans. Oh. Don't pretend. No, no. Already, like... Already, no, don't that's don't pretend. Bad. That's bad. Don't pretend. That is bad. Don't pretend. I'm not pretending. Dave's come back. Smell. What do you mean there's no smell? Can you check if there's any Dr. Peppers left? There's none. I looked earlier. I remember now. Yeah, might there's be... Sprites. Sprites? You love a Sprite. S you... I'm not allowed to swear. <laughs> Brian, but eh? But the, the, <laughs> no, no. Brian. The word that rhymes with Sprite. Kite. Is, is Kite. How, is how I would... Kite. How I would um, explain is Sprite. I think that's a foul. Yeah, I think he was trying I to come off the cushion a... to put the yellow into the devil's bag. Completely missed it. Opens up a few of these reds and I think that's... A worryingly bad shot for Mr. Heaton and Graham. Be all over these reds now. I'm pretty sure there's no Dr. Pepper, but I can go and look. I'd appreciate it if you at least double checked. Right. Do you want me to come back with Sprite if there's no Dr. Pepper? No. Sprite. I'm going to just come back after getting my food. And the he likes a he Sprite. He likes a Sprite. Hey, you, got, you got a 7 up. Uh, no, we have Sprite. <laughs> get me a seven up. We have Sprite. That's it. You've heard diet Sprite. I've never had diet Sprite. No, I'm not. I'm not a monster. That would be horrendous. Um, well, you go and check and see what there is. Okay. And I might just try a Sprite just for a laugh. <laughs> right. Pharmacist. He's kind of, kind of got me a little thirst for it. But again, Graham. Who's stolen the last couple of frames with nice little clearances after Paul has initially led early in the frame. Seems to be doing the same again. This red goes easily into the bottom right. Can he get... Oh! What happened there? Well, no. Trying to do the instant replay here, Stuart, and it's not working. But look, look at uh, Graham's miss here. Just Ooh. oh, you never guess what I found. Sprite. Oh, Sprite. How did I get? <laughs> oh shit, I'm doing stuff. What are you doing? Stop. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> sort of. That's why what you shouldn't. You shouldn't here? leave me on my own. Oh. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give, give a Sprite a go. I'll right. Here's, a, the, here's the sound, sound of a Sprite, sprite can again. opening. You ready? There you go. That's a, that's a, sounds different than a Dr. Pepper, doesn't it? To be fair, I didn't like Dr. Pepper until this streaming in it. You know, Sprite and, and um, 7-Up are exactly the same drink. No, they're not. They're exactly the same drink. No, they're not. I don't mind a bit of Sprite. It's all right. It's, it's lemon, isn't it? Lemon and lime. One of 7-Up uh, is lemon and lime. Oh, the devil! <laughs> Nightmare! <laughs> Yeah, Paul's starting to get a bit scrappy here, I'm afraid, Stuart. Yeah, Can't that. afford to do that against Graham. But yes, I was going to say 7-Up is lemon and lime. Yeah, that's where, what this is. Whereas, no, look, look. at it. Look at it. Sprite is lemon dash lime. Wow. That's the difference. I apologise. No, that's all right. You don't need to apologise. <laughs> don't. Dude, you enjoyed that. I know you did. Don't know. It's, it's not great. 4 2 to Graham Four Double A. Two. Starting to flex his musculature a little bit. Paul's been a bit scrappy last couple of frames. Come on, Paul. The heat. Bring it. I like Sprite. It's all right. It's not my number one drink. Hey, yeah. I thought you put on an advert. No, that's just the action cam, mate. Oh. Look. Look at that. Look at Paul. Whoa, yeah. you are. Calm down, get, Trying to get in his head. Trying to get in his head. You don't see that from Paul. He needs to try something. He's Paul needs to play well and, and Graham needs to play below his top gear. I think for Paul to win this, neither's happening. 
frame has gone up through the gears. Paul's got a little bit scrappy in the last couple of frames. The heat is coming. We had a beautiful angle there. Uh, look, what animal's that then? That is a... A macaw. That <laughs> is a gibbon. A gibbon? Ladies, have you got a gibbon as a pet? <laughs> I would I would love to have an Alsatian as a dog. I'd yeah. really, really love to. I'm not, That's a German Shepherd. I was going to say that it's not an Alsatian. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> but I would love to have an Alsatian. Yeah, just, yeah, 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 of course. It looks a bit like an Alsatian. It needs to be a bit longer and hairier and bigger. For a JD myself, for a Jack, is that a Jack Daniels? We don't oh, have any Jack Daniels. Here, I like a bit of Jack Daniels. We don't have any Jack here, unfortunately. A bit of Jack Daniels and Coke, a little bit of ice. No, I don't like the ice actually. Now and again, I like the ice. I like uh, a, a gibbon with a ribbon. Nice. Palmer's good at that sort of stuff. Yeah, he's good Keep at those, it up. Little, those little things. He is. Remember, he was annihilating you. Remember the other the last stream? You you had like a saying. Yeah, I came up with. And dish it was terrible. I, no, I came up with disgusting. No, you. <laughs> He said something like dish delicious, which something wasn't bad. Awful, like. No, he said dish delicious was pretty good. Was, but I said that's I said that's disgusting. And, um, <laughs> everybody, everybody agreed. That mine's was better. There's the weep. Ty weeps in the chat. Look at him go. One pound super chat. Goff, you need to you need to join the channel. There's a join button. Not not like chucking money into the chat. <laughs> we appreciate it though. But sign up as a member, mate. Sign up as a member. The German Shepherd Alastian. I don't know what Alastian is. Alastian is an Alsatian if, if your spelling's not quite ah. on point. <laughs> Goff is in serious shape, according yeah. to that. Looking at that picture. Oh, yeah, yeah. He used to be an absolute joke. Is he? Is that a competition picture? Was he on yeah, stage? Yeah, yeah, he was on stage. He was, he was competing. He still compete. Quid. Does he still compete? I don't think he competes anymore, no. Dish pickle. I, is it dispick? Is that like a play on despicable? Dish pickle? Of course it is. Despicable, despicable wordplay. Word Thanks, please. <laughs> That's pretty good. Not quite as good as disgusting, but. <laughs> Americans can't spell. <laughs> you're, not, you're not the only ones, trust me. Wherever there's people, there's stupidity. Don't worry about it. I knew a guy that... As you've noticed him from this stream. Right. I knew a guy that... Give us an umbrella. That's very nice. Very a nice. Umbrella. Look at the state of him as well. Look at that picture. He's a joke. It's a very nice V-shape. Although, <laughs> as, as aesthetically pleasing as it is, if I was still to go for a man, which I would never would, just, just throw that out there, but if I was, I'd definitely go for Paul Eaton. Paul Eaton's Paul reliable. Over, over golf. Yeah, golf someone you'd, you'd go away with in a weekend. <laughs> but Paul Heaton's the sort of man you would marry. <laughs> Lovely little double there. Nice double, just got From enough Graham. of a little kiss on the black. Yeah, I think the that I think he does have a yellow into the top left. I've been told there's no alcohol where you are. That's that why you are not up here for Paul. That why you I'm not a piffle. That's why he's at a few jacks already. Yeah, I think so. Disrespectful. Nice. Ooh, good one. a good one that from the Dominic. The Dominic. The Dominic. The Dominic might take the lead with that one. Yeah, that's good. Disrespectful. We haven't seen any dishes tonight, have we? No, no, not yet, not yet. Uh, but no, it's Mister Sleeper. There's no, there's no alcohol here. Not we don't have a bar. But um, if we do have a big event on, then maybe we'll get, uh, we'll get a day license. You have and, had uh, day licenses well, we, in the we, past. We can serve alcohol at times, but uh, but no, we don't, we don't have a full time bar and license. No, because there's a big gym here as well. You know, big yeah, this is culture. A, yeah. a lot of pool, a lot of pool clubs have got the uh, the bar and stuff as part of it. It's Paul Eaton, the lead singer of the Beautiful South. <laughs> 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 I thought that was a woman. What the Beautiful South? The, the lead, well, the beautiful South. The band has changed its lineup many times, but I thought I thought it was a woman was the lead singer. You know, she, she's a perfect ten, but she wears a twelve. Just keep a little heating for me. <laughs> I don't know. This is going for the big, the you big plant it. into the bottom left. Oh, he's he he scuffed it. He's he scuffed it. it. Miscued it. Oh, 
Oh, you do know the beautiful south. It could be Rotterdam or anywhere. Liverpool or Hundred Wells. Rotterdam <laughs> or anywhere. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, right. I think I know that one, yeah. Woman and man. <laughs> Thanks, Jude. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe it is. Maybe he is then. I don't know. Wouldn't surprise I me. Think, I think Paul Heaton is in a band, actually. I, I think he that, is yeah. in a band. Do you know that? Wouldn't surprise me if he was a lead singer of the Beautiful South. It could be. You like a band called the Something South. The Something South. Yeah, the Dead South. The Dead South. The Dead South. Big, big fan of the Dead. I went to see the Dead South a couple of months ago. It was excellent. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in Manchester. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? And because then, that's how it, that's how it's said. What? Try it. Try what? and say Manchester without saying it like that. Oh, you dirt bike. You dirt bike. Is that safe? Is that a safety? Did that on purpose? I think he did. I mean, I'd be surprised if he missed that shot. I mean, this is one so, where you you got to get the, the butt up into the air. A little bit of swerve on this. That plant could go into the devil's bag. Pulls in a little look at where he needs to hit that first red. I don't know what this means. The heated knickers. You think of that? From, I, I, from Matt. <laughs> it's, it's something I know is like really funny, but I don't I don't know why it's really funny the yet. Heated knickers. The heat. The heated knickers. The heat. Paul Heaton knickers. knickers. The yeah. yeah 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 good one. <laughs> Jay's convinced he's the lead. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna he look. He is at the lead singer of the Beautiful Sound. Let me check. Let me check. <laughs> right here we go. Can he get out of the snooker? He can, and I tell you what, that's worked out pretty nicely for him. That's a fantastic recovery shot there from Paul. Paul's band. Oh, the heated knickers is Paul's band. Ah, his name is Paul Heaton. It doesn't look oh, like Oh, wow, him. it is. He is the lead singer. So the lead singer of the Beautiful South is called Paul Heaton. doesn't look Apparently, like Paul Heaton. Apparently, uh, Matt says that the Heated Knickers is Paul's band. Let me just check. He that. knows that. But yeah, you're right. Paul Heaton is is also the lead singer of Beautiful South. You're Remarkable <laughs> coincidences. Mr. Sleepies, you're right about me having a couple of JDs, but it's my computer that can't spell. Yes, blame blame the equipment. Definitely, the computer is making all the all the errors. Not the uh, not the intoxicated human. Don't be silly. I can't find the heated knickers. <laughs> You've typed in the heated knickers. Yeah, I've, I've that's found, that's dangerous. That I've is. found real heated knickers. Ah. There's a there's a band called Centrally Heated Knickers. <laughs> can now buy battery to get all the way down. Can he get enough on it? He's got an angle into the bottom right. Did you know this? You can now buy battery operated heated underwear. That's probably dangerous, isn't it? Probably, yeah. Sounds dangerous. Leave it on. I said, no. Oh, he's not quite got it. that red. Paul needs this frame. Yeah. Really needs it. And first shot. Yeah. How, Caravan of Love was Christmas number one in the 80s. Um, did they morph into the Beautiful South or are they a completely different band? I know similar members. I know Paul Heaton was uh, in the Beautiful, or in the House Mars as well. Do you like Caravan of Love? Great song. Come back up. Every boy and every girl... Something, something, something. Oh, yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand up, yeah, stand yeah, up, yeah, yeah. stand up. <laughs> right, he's going in. He's going in again. Oh, and he bounces it out. That's, the devil's at him again. He's just not. He's not on it. He's not on it, Paul. And Paul needed to be on it tonight. Yeah, and he's, he's left, it, left it easy as well. He's being punished. He's being punished. And it's a little bit of one way traffic at the minute. It was 2 2. That's three frames in a row for double A Graham Gaviant. And Paul is not at his best, unfortunately. Struggling out there a little bit. Has he got it in him to come back from here? I, I, I'm going to call it her. I don't think, he, I don't think he's got it in him. I, well, that's a bit a bit harsh, I think. He's still in good spirits. He's all right. Ah, <laughs> right, Paul, come on. Don't want this to be a runaway victory. For the double A, Graham A. Event. We need a bit of that heat magic. Graham already halfway on this race to 10. We're up to nine likes. Thanks for that. It's always nice to get into double figures. Chuck another one in there and we're at 10. 30, 10 likes. Not bad for a random... What day is it today? Monday or Tuesday? Monday. Not bad for a Monday evening. What else are you going to do on a Monday evening? Relax, a bit after Easter, all getting back into a little bit of the work. Summer's on the way. 
Well, Jake, this is this is a losers bracket. So everyone on this side of the losers tournament has already lost in the first round of the main event. So the other semi is actually myself somehow and Jacob Bayless, who's a decent player, who will smash me, no doubt. But you never know. But in the the real King of the Hill semi-finals, Curtis Lee is playing Dan Richards, who was in the chat earlier. And then the other semi-final is Nathan Davis, who you might know. Um, he plays on a lot of the South Wales events. Very good player. Nathan Davis, he's another semi. He beat Drew Hughes the other day. And he's playing uh, a guy called Ed Lewis, who's a very good player as well. So yeah, they're they're all top lads. I fancy Curtis, pardon me, I fancy Curtis to probably win that, but you never know. The way the way Dan Richards was playing the other night, who knows? But Curtis is robotic, very slow and deliberate player, but never never misses, never plays the wrong shot. Nathan Davis and uh, Curtis Lee would probably be the final I would expect. Yeah, Nathan's such such a good player when he gets into his flow, which seems to be all the time. So it'll probably be a Curtis Lee Nathan Davis final, but we we will see. We will see. Graham is vibrating his his way to the win. His way to the win must be all the double A's. The Matt's days. at it again. Matt's coffees? at it again. Coffees. Oh, so that's why Stuart's not here. He is getting coffees for the player. I think Paul might need that. Paul might need a coffee to sort himself out, wake himself up a bit. It's not been good enough. Yeah, Curtis is solid and I think it's got to be so tough to play against because you, you tend to be seated for a long time against Curtis. You know, he takes his time, always seems to play the right shot. You you know, before you know it, you're in the chair for about 15 minutes. Whereas Nathan, a much quicker player. But Dan Richards and Ed Lewis may be the two you, you've not heard of. Dan's cracking player. He's plays in our Thursday night flyers. He, he's won the last two Thursday night flyers that we stream. So I just got some. He was carrying. amazing. No, go on. No, sure. No. So um, I was just speaking to, to Graham there. Yeah. You know, uh, you've got Mr. some inside you know information. how Mr. Sleepy said, uh, said, ask, you know, said, it said he beat Graham the other day. Mm -hmm. So he, uh, <clears throat> I just mentioned that to, uh, to Graham there while you were just getting the coffees ready. And he said, uh, he said, ask him how it went and the final score for the 3v3s. Ask Mr. Well, Sleepy. Ask him then. Ask, ask Mr. Sleep. Mr. Sleepy, what happened in the, the final, final result for the 3v3s, mate? Because I don't know. He didn't tell me. But I can only imagine that it didn't go well for you. <laughs> How did the three V threes go? That's hard to say. Three V three V threes. This is it. He'll slow anyone down, Jake. Oh yeah, he's a nightmare. Dan, if he plays like he did last Thursday, he's got a hell of a. He could do some serious damage. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Dan. I mean, it's gonna be fantastic. We said that. So uh, locally, we've got players here. We'd say are the best locally in Landod. Justin Bishop. He's won and Dave Morgan and, and Curtis Lee played Justin Bishop. We were all looking forward to that. We thought Justin would, would give him a good game and Curtis absolutely battered him. Yeah. And Just, then yeah. and then Dave Morgan was who he played in the quarterfinals, another like local legend here. And we were looking forward to that one. And again, Curtis Lee just dismantled him. So Dan Richards, he's not quite local, but he's local he's, enough. He's, he's our last he's, hope. He's local enough. He's our last local. He's Apart our last Ed, hope. If Ed makes it through to the final, but Ed's got to get past Nathan Davis first. Yeah, I can't. Mm, that's going to be a great match. That's going to be tough. Yeah. So we've got some fantastic matches still left in this King of the Hill tournament this year. <clears throat> but if you're not doing anything on the Thursday, have a look at our stream on a Thursday. Look, we get 16 minimum usually on our Thursday. Some very good players, some not so good players. <laughs> but it's always a always a fun stream. And good Absolutely. to watch. And we had uh, the final of the Thursday Night Flyer. Was it a week or two ago? We had Dave Morgan against Paul Robinson. Two, uh, two very, very good players, uh, especially back in the day when they were playing a lot. Ex-World Champions, that sort of thing. And it was first to five. Hold on. Hello. Stuart's been called away again. Matt says, have you proposed a delicate... No, but he, I'll tell you something, Matt. He slipped into my DMs recently, which has been exciting for me. We never really speak, um, but he has sent me a couple of messages. So I don't know. I think I think he knows my admiration is there for him. And he's, he's teasing me a little bit, which is nice. Nice for me. Nice bit of hope in my life. Awkward bridging here by Graham. That needs to hit a cushion. That needs to hit a cushion. 
And it hasn't done so. I believe that is two shots to Paul. And he will need to do damage here. He's lost his last three frames. 6-2 down is a little bit too much, I think. 5-3 is back in this. Mr. Sleepy Z says we lost a 3 versus 3. 5-4. But Graham only won one game. Well, that doesn't... That's not kind of the way I think he portrayed it to Stuart. Because that doesn't really seem that much of a beating. Graham only won one game in the, in the three. What what uh, team or club is that for? Surely, surely this is two shots and Paul can lift the white if he wants. Why is he not lifting the white? In lots of fouls in this match that I'm not sure Paul is often realised. Oh, he's now lifting the white. Okay, fair enough. That would have been a bit of an awkward long bridge. Paul is an athletic and lithe man. Maybe not at his peak, but still a very athletic, sprightly gentleman. But even that stretch would have been a bit much for him, I think. Needs to get this shot right. He wants to get that little kiss onto the yellow. Not bad. Not bad, actually, at all. Red will go into the bottom right if he wants to take that. He's having a look at the trickier, longer one in the top left. These are the sort of shots he's been missing. Down in Barry Sunday Pool League. How's your team doing in that league? Oh, Paul. I thought Paul was actually reds there, but Paul is yellows. It seems, is he? Yeah, Paul is yellow is my mistake. When I was talking about those reds that he had open. So again, not the best use of two shots, but that's not a great shot either by Graham. So real chance here by Paul. He's not cleared up that well in the last few frames. Needs to wake himself up. That coffee will just start to kick in now, hopefully, for him. And he has got a chance here. They all... Oh, Paul... It's not horrendous white the way he screwed that back. He's covered the bottom right bag a little bit, but he's just missing shots that he really should be getting. That's a problem sometimes. When you go a little bit behind, you can get frustrated and lose a bit of focus. Graham tried to sneak that red in. It didn't go. So another chance, and it has been a, a frame of many chances for Paul. Can he control the white here? He can do. But the yellow underneath the black is the one major problem here. But all these other yellows will go. Can Paul take them out? Start to make a match of this. Bottom left. Devil's bag. Tough pot this. Got it. Shot. And he has options here. He's going to leave that one over the bottom right, I think. It is his insurance. Nope, he's deciding to take it. Got to get decent screw into this. He's maybe screwed back a little bit too much. And he might have to dig into this one a little bit just to hold the white. Oh, he didn't come across enough. Didn't come across enough. And that is a dagger in the heart just when Paul was starting to get back into a feel of things. This is super thin if he's trying this. It's too thin, but at the very least needs to cover the bag, get beyond that red. Mm, not a bad white. It's not a bad white at all, actually. But that was a chance by Paul. Sir Sleepy, not great, but most of us are getting a bit old, Passer. What is old? What is old in, in the world of pool? What is past your prime? Ronnie, he's still the best in the world at snooker. That's a great shot by Graham covering the bottom right. Ronnie in his mid-40s now still winning most tournaments. 
in the world of snooker. I heard that Mark Williams is, is left snooker. I need to double check that. Someone told me the other day. Mark Williams, three times world champ, has gone off to play Chinese pool because he enjoys it more. That's what I heard. Another decent tactical shot there by Graham. Really putting some serious trouble on Paul here. And this is tough. You really could do with this doubling in. Not too far away from double. Ah, 69. And not the oldest. 69 still. Plenty of good frames left in you yet. Hopefully. And if you're beating Graham, must be a decent enough player. For sure. Paul here. He's in his 50s, I believe. He's not showing his best tonight. And he couldn't really do too much there. Wants the yellow to bounce a little bit. Didn't want to touch the other yellow. That is his insurance ball at the moment. Oh. Little kiss on the red. So a snooker here, no doubt, by Graham. Keeping the pressure on Paul. That yellow, that red, sorry, just bounced off the bottom cushion. A centimetre too far an ideal. I think Paul can still get a little nip on this yellow, but can he leave it safe? In fact, if he can nip it, it means it's not a total, so it means he has to hit a cushion. If I'd have been a total, he probably just could have come off that left side cushion, had a pretty easy snooker bike, but because he can see the left hand side or the bottom closest to the bottom cushion side of that yellow. It means he's going to have to hit a cushion after contact, which makes it harder to play the snooker. <laughs> oh, that that's a disaster. Paul's yellows, isn't he? You know, they're, they're laughing. Let's have a little look at that. If I can get the instant replay to work. <laughs> nope, that's the devil. <laughs> get out here. Where's the, where's, there's a replay. So Paul is yellows. And what on earth was he doing here? And that's, you know, that is the award for the worst shot of the evening. Uh oh, how do, how do I get rid of this? There we go. Yeah, worst shot of the evening there by Paul. So he's given two shots here. The Graham, Graham is reds. Tries to open his two reds up. Could have been a bit kinder. He's still got this red on, but he's got a bit of work to do to get the white down the table. And he needs to avoid the bag. Just about does, and that's absolutely probably as perfect as it could be. You can just push this through and leave pretty simple black into the top right or the middle right, but he's missed that. And that is a surprising miss. Now, can Paul take advantage? This is a, a bit ugly because I, I'm not sure he can hold this. So the black goes into the bottom right. Big shot this. Has he put enough on that? Just about. Yeah, it's a perfect weight because it's the only way he could play it. To leave this into the bottom right. Chance for Paul to make this 5-3 in what has been a very ugly frame with some horrific shots. And as Jake says, I don't know if it's strange tactics, Jake, or just bad play at times. Paul needs this. Big time. And he... No! no! Pain. Paul. Pain. No, it's just not been his night so far, and that is going to really hurt. That is going to really, really, really hurt, because he, he should never have had a chance in this frame, and that was a very gettable black, and it's 6-2 now. Graham is running away with this, and Paul, he's, he'll be very disappointed with some of the shots he played. You were out there, Stuart, but... Yeah. He, he, Paul... Paul played the shot, the worst shot of the night. Really? The worst shot of the night, yeah. He nearly won the frame. He nearly won the frame still. Uh, Joe Law has to agree with him. It's his ball trying hard to lose. Trying hard yeah, to that, it's because Stuart wasn't. Stuart, Stuart was sorting someone out at reception there, but um, yeah, they weren't at their best in that frame, let's let's say that. I don't know what you put in the coffee. What animal's that? That's what a, animal's Joe, then? That's a lion. That, that's not. It's a giraffe. Um, yeah, I think... 
I don't know what you put in there, coffee, but that, that, that wasn't the best for him. Well, 6-2, it's a four-frame gap, first to 10. Graham looking good for a place in the final. And I don't think Paul's playing well enough to reel this back in, but you never know. And at the end of the day, anything can happen in sport. Has Graham been drinking? I mean, he played a lot better in his previous couple of matches that we've seen him here. He was very good against Brian Hammond in the quarterfinal of this loser's King of the Hill tournament. But he's not been at his best, but he hasn't needed to be at his best because Paul has been really disappointing tonight, unfortunately, for Paul. Still a way to go. And with Graham going in off on the break here, it's a, a chance for Paul, again, to do a bit of damage. But the way these reds are, you know, he should at least... I mean, he's got a chance of a what we would call a reverse dish, but as he lost that white, that is not the best first shot. If he wants to take these reds out, he might even be tempted by yellows now, because if he misses this red, still an open table at the moment, because of the two shots, the first shot's an open shot, so he needs this. Has he hit it? Has he hit it? Oh, he's fallen in! Paul forced that in with the pure willpower! I want to see that again because I don't think that was going in. Watch Paul just move closer towards there. I thought we were going to see the devil, but Paul's like forcing it, forcing it. And his pure will made that red go in. We have told players are not allowed to use a psychic ability. This is another tricky one. He just keeps losing the white off the cushion. Confidence is definitely low with Paul. He needs... To pot a few of these. Where's the white going? Just again. Almost goes in off. It was a decent pot. Off the cushion. But yet again, he's just been battling with this white. All night really. But especially in this frame. Last frame as well. But again, it's gone wrong for Paul. And he's going to be forced into a bit of a containing safety here. And that's not even going to touch the cushion. And that is two shots. So... Well, that was a, a bizarre series of shots there by by Paul. And unfortunately for him, he's given away two shots. When he did have a, a clearance, he's almost in a worse position with one of his reds tied up. And Graham, who a few people claim might have been drinking, because Graham's not been at his best either, but he's, he's doing more than enough. And I am hoping that Paul can bring his A game, because he's going to need to at the moment. He's not been at his best. It's a shame. But still early days. There's still time for the heat. Graham's took a long time over deciding what to do with his lovely little camouflage green glove. I think he was hoping to put that red safe and knock his yellow out in the process. He's not quite knocked the yellow out that's tied up with a red. But that is the problem, Bolt. I mean, all these other yellows will go somewhere. He's taking the top of the triangle, so he's going to come up, up and down the table. Pop the red on the cushion with that. Graham playing with a little bit more swaz. I think he's fairly relaxed out there now. He's got a big lead. Can he develop off this shot? He can do. It's a decent shot, that, by Graham. He's definitely in a little bit of flow now. He's definitely playing with a bit more pace. How's your weight on this white? Not ideal. So not fantastic. He is wearing a glove, Matt. There is a glove. It is well camouflaged, but I assure you... he Oh, the, oh you dirtbag. Almost. Almost a little bit of swaz by Graham. All back at the table. Oh no. It's an <laughs> oh no. It's another disaster. And that is a disaster. Giving away two shots at that stage. Just nothing is 
going right for Paul. I've never seen Paul actually play as, as bad as this. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens. And he's in big danger of going 7-2 down here. If Graham can get this shot right, you just want to try and use the red to get on to the yellow. Yeah, Joe, I think the wheels have fallen off. Jicked is not happy. <laughs> Jesus wept with the, uh, with the pull at the moment. But... It's a race to 10. You never know. But Graham, not at his best and not needing to be at his best, is comfortably winning this game at the minute. Paul is struggling out there, unfortunately. For 7-2, no problem for Mr. Aviant. 7-2 ahead. And Graham finding it pretty easy out there in second gear and well ahead. Paul not at his best. Get yourself into one of our tournaments, Mr. Sleepy, for sure. As you can see, this is the, the loser's side, although these are decent players. Uh, they've even got this far. They get £50. If Paul does lose this, he gets £50. We're getting to the semi-final and the loser's bracket. I think the winner of the loser's event, so Graham looking good for the final, would pick up £200. And it's £500 for the overall winner in the King of the Hill. <laughs> Matt, scoundrel. But come on, Paul. I want to see a match here. I know Paul can play a lot better than this because I see it most days, but he has had a dry brick. So this, this tournament jicked was, I think it was 25 quid to enter. Maybe it was 30, I'm not sure. I think it was 25 uh, quid to enter. And so some very, very good players in, in the King of the Hill side. Nathan Davis, Cole Bedford, Drew Hughes, Curtis Lee. And some of our better local players as well. But if you lost, then you got into the loser's bracket. And again, some decent players in in that side as well but into the semi-final stage at the moment Jacob Bayless who I play in the other semi he's a, he's a decent player he will batter me unfortunately I got a bit lucky with my draws and a couple of forfeits as well which is a nice easy match whenever your opponent doesn't turn up I think what's going on here it was 5-2 when I left I hate to say it, Stuart, because we, we try and be kind, but Paul has been per. Is he not not been at his he's, best? He's not been anywhere near his best. But the la the last two frames were, were <laughs> because you haven't been here. I don't know if he noticed and just stopped playing. But he's made, me. he's made some calamitous errors, and I think he's made so many errors that Jake is now like asking how much is to enter because he thinks, well, <laughs> if Paul's in the semi final, <laughs> I would have got sure, and I would have got there. But Paul's beating some players to get you. Yeah. He's not, you know. Yeah, th th this is definitely not Paul at his best, and he he's been struggling, but he's still, you know, still first to ten. When did this tournament begin? Um, well, it's well, like last year, wasn't it? Really, like November time? Wait, Started. October? No. We tried to get a whole round done in in a month, so oh, the, you said it would have been January. Sorry, the, yeah, it started January. Yeah, started January. January, 1st, January. So yeah, King, January 1st. we'll do it doing it once a year. So the the King of the Hill winners, it's first to fifteen. And in the losers brackets, first to ten. The first round was first to ten, overall, wasn't it? Yeah. So first, first round was first to ten, and then second round, the winners brackets, first to fifteen. All the matches, first to fifteen, and the losers brackets been first to ten. If you go on our YouTube channel, you can see several of the games from the King of the Hill tournament, and of course our Thursday night flyers. They're all on there. All the events. There has been some cracking games. This hasn't been the best Ooh. of games. It's another in off from Paul, and he is just. Having a torrid time out there, unfortunately. Matt's got some advice for you. Matt loves making fun of my handicap, doesn't he? <laughs> I reckon, Paul, if Jacob lends you one of his eyes, you will beat him. Well, That's harsh. It is harsh. It's, like, it's just it's make, making fun of my handicap. Just for the other people in the stream. I've, Paul's only got one leg. I've only got one eye. <laughs> Matt, Matt likes to make fun of it. Make fun of my disability. Which it is, by the way, Matt. I could, I could enter the Special Olympics pool team if there was one. 
You should start it. Not a swimming pool. <laughs> well, you could enter that as well. The other problem is... I can't, I'm going to sound really crap now. I've only got one eye and I can't play using my thumb. You can't play what? I can't yeah. play pull using my thumb. I use my fingers. Oh, yeah, yeah. You play, yeah, you got the, yeah, the old school. Well, it's not old school. It's, just, it's just crap. It's just crap. But for someone, that, whenever people use their fingers and I see them play pull, I think this guy is going to be terrible. I'm not terrible, but I'm not good, but I'm not, I'm not bad for someone that's got one eye and loses his, <laughs> uses his fingers. <laughs> Dan Richards, Brian would have even less chance if Paul had two working. Oh, this is becoming a theme. Yeah, but he's saying that if it wasn't for your disability, you would be the best player in the world. That's yeah, a positive. Because pe people don't realise whenever I play pool, I can only see half of the table. So if if the balls are on the right-hand side of the table, I can't see them. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just guessing. Anytime you see, see me play a shot on the right-hand side, I'm just guessing where the balls might be. <laughs> Jake says he watched Nathan the other day, the other night against Drew. He was flying. Yeah, Nathan is uh, is playing very well. Absolutely. Who did he beat? Was it Drew? Oh, he beat Drew, didn't he? He did. He smashed him. Yeah. We well, didn't yeah. smash him. Drew Drew went an awful lot on the break. Yeah, his breaks were killing his, him. His breaks really punished him. But Drew did, or sorry, Nathan took full advantage of that for sure. Really looking forward to Nathan and Ed Lewis. I think they're similar sort of players. Yeah, it's really, going to be an interesting match. Nice. Sure. Both players nice to watch. Wasn't going to drop there. There's got a bit of a problem with this red tucking up to that yellow in the bottom right. But I it's mean, been five frames ahead now. Yeah, it's, it's looking it's looking tough here for for Mister. Oh, round the cup and out. Well, has been five frames in a row for Paul for for Graham. Sorry, five frames in a row for Graham. Paul just needs to concentrate on this frame. Yeah, need, this frame. That's one back. Yeah. Stop the rot. He needs to stop the rot, and he he needs a bit of confidence because he's not. He is not playing with much confidence at the moment. And if you'd have seen those couple of frames or your waist, or he was struggling badly. Yeah. I could never take a frame off Paul. Could take one off Stu though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not I'm not a pool player, Matt. <laughs> you play more than me. <laughs> I'm not really a pool player either, but I enjoy it. Shot there. Has he got the angle to nip that red in? Maybe. I, I think I think he can cut this. At the very least, he can cover the bag. Just don't hit the yellow first, Paul. He's put a lot of right hand side on that. He's covered it. Yeah, he's covered. He's covered it enough. He's, come, he's given. He's given him a little bit of an angle, maybe, to do something here. He's, he might be able to run into this yellow, pop it out. He has he done the white spinning Where's near the bag. Go? Oh, Ooh. it's in behind the black, is That's it? That's a total. A bit unfortunate with how that panned out there, but yeah, we want Paul to win this frame, though. We want Paul to win this frame. Magic from Graham here, maybe. Popped it round enough now. Paul, you've got yeah. to take this chance, or you might as well go home now. It is a thin one. These are always trickier than they look. Little delicate one. He's got to get the pace right. He'd love to get the white back pretty much around where it is at the moment. Get a frame back, stop the rot. Oh, he massively overcut it. And he's put the yellow over the pocket. It's just not, not Paul's. Not quite going. It's for him. just not Paul's night at all. All those kind of shots have just gone wrong for him. That could go onto the cushion. No, it's okay. And this should go into bottom right for eight. No what? way off. Just way off. Rush it. Graham's laughing his head off. That was a snatchy, horrible black. Horrible black. Another chance. Tough. This is harder than the last one, I think. It is, but Paul, I mean, Paul knocks these in on a regular basis. I think his confidence is completely shot. Oh, oh. just too thick that time. The first one was too thin. That one was too thick. The white's gone a bit awkward. Paul's disgusted by himself walking down the bottom side of the table. And is he cutting this in the devil's bag? He's going for a double cut. No, he's going for the cut. Into he the devil's bag, the white goes safe, and it's eight. six in a row and eight two eight for two. Graham Double A Avient. <sighs> Take a look at some of the Well I think it's Graham to break as well. I think it's something like the, the other semi finalists, if they're looking at this semi, they, they must be thinking, oh, I've got a chance here. Yeah. But Graham hasn't needed to play at his best to take this 8-2 lead. Graham can play a lot better than this as well, which might sound funny being 8-2 up, but he's not been at his best either. 
I mean, I'd have to fancy Jacob for the whole winner, or the whole losers tournament here. Yeah. He's going to be a big favourite against myself. Hopefully, he bottles it. Hopefully. You've beaten him before, haven't you? Uh, I've, we've never played a race to 10, but I've beaten him once in a race to six. I've beaten him a couple of times in a race to four, but. Are these all practice games, though? One was in a flyer event. Right, okay. Um, so it's possible. But give me some hope. But as you said, as you said, you're in the draw, and in a race to 10, you know, yeah. quality generally will show. And Jacob's a much better player than I am, so it's it's unlikely. Um, I need him to play very bad. And you need to play very well. <laughs> I need to play very well, <laughs> and then it could be close. Um, it's either going to be, I'm either going to get absolutely battered or... I reckon it's going to be like I'm 10, gonna, 3 or 10, 4 to Jake. Yeah, that's, that's probably what I would, if I was a betting man, that's probably what I would say, but I don't want to say that. I need to believe. I mean, 10 nil to you. Yeah, Is that's that better. That's unlikely. <laughs> that is unlikely, but who it's, knows? I am doing well, working his way around this table so far. I don't know if that, that second yellow from the bottom goes to the bottom left, does it? Ooh, it's perfect. It was a lovely shot. Yeah, he's, he's, he's playing quite relaxed now, Graham. The pr pressure's off him. He's still not at his best, but you can see just the way he's smoothly stroking these balls. That... Playing fairly relaxed. <laughs> yeah, this would be this would be a dish, I think, Paul. Is it? I believe so. The first dish of the night. I think so. Pretty quick one too. Finally, some real it. quality. Some real quality by Double A Graham Aviant. I didn't realise that was a dish, but it was a lovely dish. It was a, a beautiful it, it, dish. Where's the, where's the dish emojis at? Chuck it in. Now, dish, dish, dish emojis. Dish, disgusting. Dish delicious. Dis disrespectful. That's disrespectful. Disgusting. Well, it was one of his. Disgusting. <laughs> do you know that this was 2 2? Yes, I do know this that was, it was 2 2. This it, was, was, it was 2 2. Paul was out. In fact, Paul was 2 1 up. Yeah. Paul was 2 1 up. That's eight frames in a row for Graham. There Aiden. it is. There I am floating up with the dish. The dish. -o. Dishinio. Just so. Stop! You can't take your rotted tooth out in front of me. No, I've got a big bit of chicken stuck under it. I haven't. I didn't get the filling put in yet. It's at the end of the month. 150 pound of filling. Can't believe it. You can't like. It's not like you can get it done like once that's, every that's, couple of months. That's why I need to beat. You can't get booked in. That's why I need to beat Jacob and win this tournament. You pay for your filling. You pay for my fillings. You pay for your teeth. I might tell that to Jacob just to put a bit of a guilt trip on him. <laughs> if he doesn't beat me, then I'm gonna have no teeth. <laughs> Like it's going to be dry for uh, heat, and that might might be just with. I mean, it's not. It's a pretty ugly table, to be fair. Nice one, Wonky. Must be uh, Graham's nickname. Is that his nickname, Wonky? It's wonky. Yeah, I don't know why. He's going <laughs> to play the plant here. Oh, that's a good shot. Yellows aren't perfect. There is one stuck on that left cushion in between a couple yeah, of reds. It's, it's a pretty ugly table, to be fair. Bar that, all the other yellows should go, so Graham should do plenty of... Oh, oh what's that? To commentate his curse horrible before cut. you even said it. Horrible cut. <laughs> Reds still have some problems as well, so... What odds would you give Paul, the way and the way Paul's playing, of coming back and winning this match 10-9? It's, it's, it's unlikely, but it's possible. Give me some odds. Like, ugh, 150 to 1? Oh, no, did you... Oh, no, Paul... Oh no, Paul. Have a look at this, Stuart. What Have happened? a look at Paul what, what Paul did with the cue. I mean it's everything that can go is wrong for Paul. Yeah, it's a foul. Everything watch what he does with the cue. Everything that can go wrong for Paul is going wrong. Oh, oh no. no. I mean he he never does that. Why well, I, I don't know, I've got a few highlights he's, of him doing stuff like that. He's completely lost the plot. And the tricky yellow, he's now used the first free shot to get that out, and that could be Paul's last match, Sleepy, Paul's last frame. Sleepy gives it a thousand to one. I'd feel a it. thousand to one. Ooh! A thousand to one. Stick a, a quid on it. Stick a quid get on it, Stuart. Sure. Get a quid on it. Stick a quid on it. Here's you the comment. Know. Here's the heat. Here is the heat. We've not seen the heat. It's been Mr. Freeze tonight, but it's time. <laughs> it's time to get the heat out. He's got quite a put few. The hob, put the hob on, at least. He's got quite a few... Quite a few awkward reds here. 
Oh, don't you dare. Oh, I thought he was going to sneak in behind that yeah. yellow, mate. I mean, the way the way it's been going for him tonight, I wouldn't have been Two, surprised. 2001. He's upped it after that. So I'm, I want to stick a quid on Get that. Get a quid on that. <laughs> well, that, that's true. Oh, he's nearly gone in off and he's, I think he's totally snookered himself. Paul, I don't believe it. It's just been it's just been his night. You know, I've I've actually never beaten Paul. I can't <laughs> believe he doesn't him. do that against you. He does, definitely doesn't Nobody do this plays against their best against you. I've no, yet, no, they only play their best when yeah, they're playing I, you, not when they're I've, playing I've only I've only played Paul once in a flyer. He's got a hit. That's yeah, a not bad hit. Only only played him once in a flyer and he beat me four three. And then we had a little practice game you were watching the other day, and he yeah. beat me, he beat me in that one three two. So I, I've never beaten Paul. Close matches. Um, yeah, close matches. Whoa, but I went for the double, not I quite. Mean, to be is fair, it's going to roll over that middle pocket. I think it is. But if he plays like this, I would have fancied my chances. But he never does that against me. He never does that against me. Never. <laughs> Everybody always plays their absolute maximum against you. Dude, everyone plays their absolute best. I don't know what it is. Jake's the worst. What, the worst pool player? No, he is when he plays against other people, but against me, he just pulls out everything. I'm like, what? Just come, people seem comfortable around you. Well, they I'm, don't see you as a threat, so they relax. Well, I, need, I, need to, I need to change that. How do I change that? You've got to be better at pool. Mm, well, apart from... Fear is, is there another way I can change it? Um, could, like, play naked. That'll probably scare people. Oh, Paul, that was horrific. That was a tough cut. No, I, Oh, come on. It was a tough cut. Paul has really struggled tonight. I, you know, I, I don't, want, I don't want to be mean because Paul, Paul's a very good player. As I say, I've, I've never beaten Paul. Um, and that, oh. that was poor as well. What is <laughs> going was on? It? What is going on? <laughs> Disgraceful, Matt. Ban him. Matt, leave him alone. Ban him. <laughs> <laughs> Disgraceful. I can't believe you highlighted that. I don't choose the highlights. It, it, it gets checked. We've got an AI system. It knows. Who chooses it? The AI system. It knows. It's well, nothing to do with me. Two poor shots there by both players. Another little ugly frame here. And every ugly frame has been won by Graham. Graham won away from the final. Are you going to get um, Are you going to get the players in to have an interview? No, I don't think so. Not tonight. Not the night. Not, 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 not the, the night. night. Not the night. Not, not the night. <laughs> we... Oh, the robots. Why are you not getting them in for an interview? I don't think they want to. <laughs> that, that's another... Per this is uh, getting a bit comical, really. This is... um. Well, Paul's, you know, frustrated and borderline given up and Graham's knows he's won, so yeah. he's relaxed as well. Yes, yeah, too relaxed. It's, it's too turned relaxed. into a... But that's why that 2001 is worth a quid. I mean, yeah, come on, Paul. a couple of frames. You never know. He sneaks this one yeah, back. And Graham still sort yeah. of with his foot off the pedal. Hello. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Close. Thought for a second it was going to be uh, sneaking in. If this double goes in, could be game over. Game set and match. Double does go in. Lovely shot. And he's left himself on this one into the devil's bag. That was absolutely was a, hammered it in there. He, he couldn't hit that any harder. Why well, could have? It could be tricky to get onto the last yellow unless he just plays absolute dead weight. But if he does play Ooh, that, he's okay. He's perfect. Now, black going? Black might double into the right center if he follows this through. I think that's what he's played. It'd be tricky to get this around the red yeah, for the final double A. Oh, it's and there. It. It's, it's an absolute annihilation. Graham Avian 10. Paul Heaton 2 and Graham Aviant double A is into the final. He barely got out of second gear tonight. Unfortunately, Paul Heaton, it was not his night. He can play a lot, lot better than what he did tonight. Just did not really get going after that fourth frame when it was two apiece. But a very comfortable, simple, easy win for Graham in the end. And he is in the final and he Bang. will play either myself or Mr. Bayless. So probably Bayless. All right, all right. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for uh, for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and chuck a subscribe. We've got lots more exciting matches coming up. As Paul has said, we've got the uh, the other semi-final match between himself and Jacob Bayless. That'll be happening hopefully next next week, hopefully. 
Maybe by the end of this week. Maybe by the end of this week. We'll, of course, we'll let you know on the socials. And, of course, we have the winner's bracket semi-finals, some top, top, top competition over on that side. And, of course, every Thursday night we have the Thursday Night Flyer, which is a wide range of talent, which is always interesting to see. Uh, but, yeah, lots of drama, lots of excitement, all that sort of stuff. But if you're not subscribed and you don't want to miss any of the future streams, go ahead and subscribe now. And uh, Nah. Nah. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for tonight. Merry Christmas. We'll see you guys.